Hi, this is the Freaky Fisherman for Freaky Fishing Adventures, you know, and I'm here to teach you all how to do an arbor knot and also how to spool a fishing reel. So, so this is the arbor because, uh, you know, I don't really have a real arbor. So let's pretend this is an arbor, okay? And I'm gonna use some really big. Um, nylon uh, rope so it's easy for y'all to see it right so the arbor knot is really simple you go around the arbor like so right take, take a little bit more line and you, you go around the arbor like so okay this way so put this aside and you want to make a loop around the main line like so. Okay. So now you got a loop around the main line. And make it clearer. Like so. Right? You make a loop around the main line. And then you're gonna tie a simple tongue knot. Like so. Right? It's just gonna look something like this. Okay, you got a main line here. And a knot. Just pull it tight. Okay? And then the end piece you want to make a stopper. So just another another simple thumb knot right here. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. And that is basically your arbor knot. Okay? So you wanna see whether it works. You gotta start tugging on the line. Like so. Okay. So it's gonna it's gonna lock onto itself. Okay, no matter how hard you pull gonna get tighter and tighter eventually it will lock just like that right it won't slip so you put this knot on your um, fishing reel it works with uh, both spinning and bait cast and heck I even use the arbor knot for my multipliers you know and it works fine it won't slip and what you need to do is just cut off cut off the excess piece right about here then you go ahead and spool your fishing line, which I'll show you in a bit, alright? So the arbor knot, really, really simple. Just